Hello, in this problem we have to find the values of x for which the series converges and then we want to find the sum of the series uh, for those values of x. So this is a geometric series so we're going to use something called the geometric series test in order to come up with the answer. So the geometric series test says that whenever you have a geometric series, so one that looks like this, say a times r to the n, sometimes books use uh, n minus 1 as well, if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then you have a convergent series, so the series converges. If the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then you have a divergent series, so the series diverges. So here it's really easy to see that r is whatever is being raised uh, to the nth power. So r is equal to x minus 4. And we want the series to converge. So we want the absolute value of r to be less than 1. But r is x minus 4, so we want the absolute value of x minus 4 to be less than 1. When you drop an absolute value, you get a plus and a minus, so you get x minus 4 less than 1, greater than negative 1, just totally worth memorizing, less than, less than, less than. And then we can just add 4 to all three sides, so plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, that gives us 3 less than x less than 5. That's it. That's the answer. These are the values of x for which the series converges. Uh, and there are no other values because these conditions are mutually exclusive. Uh, if the absolute value of r is not less than 1, then this happens and you get divergence. So these are the only values of x for which the series converges. Uh, let's write it in interval notation. Because we have strict inequalities, we will use parentheses. So this is 3, 5. These would be the values of x for which the series converges. If you've studied more infinite series, you know this goes by another name. This is also called the interval of convergence. Okay, now we have to find the sum. So let me show you how to do that. The way I do it is I use a super cheap formula. So you just take whatever is here and you just plug it in. Just whatever number is there, you just plug it in. So we have a 1, so I'm going to put a 1 where the n is. So we have x minus 4 to the first power. Then you divide, and then you divide by 1 minus r. So 1 minus r. Now r is two terms, so it's x minus 4. So it's really parentheses x minus 4. Four. Again, take whatever number is here, plug it in, and then just divide by 1 minus r. This always works every single time. Okay, this is equal to x minus 4 over 1. There is a, an invisible 1 here, so we have to distribute this. So negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. So this is equal to x minus 4 over 1 plus 4 is 5 and then we have minus x and this would be the sum of the series for these values of x. It's kind of cool if you think about it this infinite sum is equal to this function. Not always though it's only equal to the function when x is a number between 3 and 5. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.